Hello, hello. I guess I'm having a little car talk today and it's Dr. Stephanie and I wanted to talk a little bit about something that's really important to me and that is purpose and specifically how to prioritize your purpose. And one of the things that I think is really important in prioritizing your purpose is doing less. I know, it, 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 it makes no sense. It seems like an oxymoron that doing less can help you prioritize your purpose. But I don't know about you, but this year has felt like a marathon that I have been running and running and running. And what I'm realizing is the moments where I was really able to prioritize my purpose are the moments where I stopped running. And I'm just going to break it down a little bit more. I have decided that going into 2024, my mantra is do less, but better. And I think that for me, I, I've known for a while that I have this cycle of hustle, 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 grind, 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 push, 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 and then collapse. And it's like, and when I'm collapsed, all my energy is spent. I have spent every ounce of energy that I have. And it takes everything that I have in me just to do the basics. And what happens when I do that is I fall out of momentum, right? Because I've been pushing, pushing, pushing. And the very thing that I've been pushing for might just be on the other side of that next push. But I don't have any more left in me to give. And what I realized is that this purpose thing is a life journey for me, right? I am always going to be in pursuit of my purpose and trying to be in alignment with my purpose. So there's no hurry. There's no rush. There's no finish line. And when I can have a more even approach to the amount of energy that I give it instead of these push, 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 and then collapse, then I will have a better experience because I'm prioritizing myself. I'm prioritizing my own mental, physical well-being while I am pursuing my purpose. And isn't that what life is about? It's really just the process of living and living as well and as intentional and as good as you possibly can. So the thing that I want to say about prioritizing purpose is that self-care is at the center. And when you know what self-care looks like for you. And for me, it's not working myself to exhaustion, but sort of having more of a steady pace, a steady amount of energy, a steady amount of, of drive, and then taking breaks, right? There's so much that happens when you're resting. Physically, we know when we're resting, our mind develops new pathways and memories and our bodies are able to um, heal themselves. The muscle fibers are able to uh, heal and everything's able to happen. So the same thing happens with our purpose. When we rest and we take a break, things are able to congeal. Opportunities are able to come together to manifest. Our goals and dreams start to chase us instead of us chasing them. Let me say that one more time. When we rest and we pause and we are intentional about our self-care while we prioritize our purpose, we give our dreams a chance to chase us instead of us always chasing them. Mm. I like the sound of that. Don't you want your dreams to start chasing you? Don't you want to stay still for long enough that your dreams can catch up with you. Because sometimes we're just going so fast and so hard that we don't even get the chance to be in the space to attract what we want, to be in the space to see, to notice that what we want is right there or right around the corner. So prioritizing self-care, see, that was a Freudian slip. Prioritizing our purpose includes prioritizing our self-care.
So that's all I wanted to share. I just wanted to be on here for a minute. Go be in purpose, prioritize you, get some self-care done, and I will see you next time. Have a wonderful wrap up to your 2023. Bye-bye for now.